Welcome to SQLJ video. This video is change the voice part 3. In our previous video, we have studied active voice and passive voice. Also in the part 2, we have studied how to change the voice of past sentences. So if you have not seen it, kindly see part 1 and part 2. In this video, we will be studying how to change sentences that are in future tense. So let us begin with our first tense that is simple future tense. Now in simple future tense to change from active to passive, we will be using syntax will or shall plus be plus past participle. Here will and shall is used according to how you are going to address it, whether it is formal or informal. So let us see the first example. Here the sentence is we will, sorry she will light the candle. So the change is the candle will be lighted by her. So light becomes lighted. Next, they shall expect good news. Here shall, the use of shall is because it is addressed in a formal way. So the tense will be good news shall be expected by them. The third one. The farmers will produce crops. The sentence will change as crops will be produced by the farmers. Now let us go to next tense. That is future perfect tense. Now the sentences with future perfect tense will be changed according to the given syntax. That is will or shall plus have plus been plus past participle. So let us see the first example. They will have played badminton. So this text will change as Badminton will have been played by them. Here now the second example. Jimmy shall have prepared the food. So this sentence will change as The food shall have been prepared by Jimmy we have to use will or shall plus have plus been plus past participle third example the boy shall have kicked the ball so the sentence will change the ball shall have been kicked by the boy Now let us understand how modal are changed in this while changing active to passive voice which are the things we should remember. So if we have a modal in the sentence it becomes modal plus B plus past participle. First the boy can play badminton. Here the modal is can. Play is your verb. So the sentence will change as Badminton can be played by the boy. 
we are using be and we are changing the verb in past participle the second one jimmy should prepare the food so this sentence will change into passive voice as the food should be prepared by jimmy now let us see one more example you must obey the elders here must is your modal so passive voice will be the elders must be obeyed by you the access video on modal will be uploaded soon so kindly subscribe our channel so you will be updated with recent videos time to time now let's move ahead we will see some more sentences with different form of syntax so let us see some more examples so first we are going to see imperative sentence imperative sentence which begins with the word let we know what are imperative sentences so let us see our first example do the job here the sentence is imperative so while changing it we have to start with the letter uh, word let so passive voice will be let the job be done imperative sentences are sentences which are like commands request or permission second example throw the ball so passive sent voices let the ball be thrown here we we are adding the uh, word be also and we are changing the tense into past participle shut the door let the door be shut so imperative sentences which are order request or commands should be changed into passive voice by using the word let in the beginning now let us move ahead we will see some more sentences So sometimes in the passive voice the by phrase containing the subject of a sentence in the active voice is left out especially if it is understood like it is not necessary to write uh, by whom the action is been done it is understood by the listener like this example the government passed a law a law was passed so you there is no need to write by the government because it is understood now while doing the change from passive to active the same by phrase if we don't have by phrase in the passive sentences while changing it to active sentence we have to add it like in this example the crop were sown the crop were sown so now the by phrase is missing so we know who sowed the crop so we have to add it the farmer sowed the crop now here the farmer is not necessary you can write he or she so you have to add the subject to the sentence thank you for watching hope you understood the section like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification